Hi, I'm Lori, and I just wanted to talk to you about like pages. So the first thing I want to start with is talk a little bit about the differences between the like page and the personal page. So the, and I also want to start by saying I had very, very little friends on Facebook when I started. So I had less than 200 friends and I say I was on Facebook because my kids were on Facebook and most of my friends were their friends. So as a Beachbody coach, I super struggled for my first five or six months to get Success Club 5. So I quickly learned that I needed a cold market and I needed to have a like page and start reaching out to people, strangers on the internet. So the like page was key for me and um, it's been almost two years, and I've built my entire business on my like page. So I have a lot to contribute. I think that I've learned a lot along the way. So um, I'm getting over Success Club 20. My goal is Success Club 20 every month. So the difference is that your like page, the main difference is your like page allows you to run ads. You cannot run ads on just your personal page. So that, is, that has been key for me. And so um, the one thing that's changed since I started my like page is that you couldn't message people from your like page. Now, if people comment on your posts on your like page, then you can message them and you can actually have some great conversations with people and you can actually do an invite through your like page. So before you had to actually get them to come over to your personal page or you had to collect an email address and that was what you had to do before you could um, have a conversation with them. So, uh, so that's been great. I will say that opinions differ uh, from coaches on whether you should run your business from your personal page and from your like page. I recently read from a a coach who is pretty successful. She said you shouldn't use a, a like page that, you know, your personal page should, should be where your business is run from. Um, and then um, Katie Erster just did a call for Nikki's team and she said, I don't think she should use your personal page at all. I think you should use your like page. Your like page is where your business is. That's where you need to build. So two very extreme different opinions. So I'm of the mindset that you use both. So, and what I do is I post the exact same thing to both, both places. And I actually learned that from Bonnie Engel because what she said, because you worry, like, are people going to see the same stuff? And we worry about so much that really isn't true. And the way Facebook works, the chances of people seeing both things, both places is slim to none. And if they do, they like you, they want to see your content. So don't worry about that. I have posted three times a day for, actually I just did one time a day on my like page till probably about six months, months ago. And so I just do three times the same three things, the same times of days where my, when my market's on and I do that on both places. So I would suggest if you don't have a like page, create one and start posting both places. And if, and the great thing about having a like page is if Facebook for some reason shuts you down or something drastic happens with your personal page that you have your like page still. So you can still, you know, reach people through that, that means. All right. So, um, uh, so I said I built my business for my cold market. Um, I have over 7,000 fans on my fan page now and I have about 1,700 friends um, so, uh, on my personal page. And I also want to mention that your personal page, you have to be really careful because there's a 5,000 friend limit on Facebook. And some of the top coaches actually have run into problems because if you're building a team, you need to have your coaches be your friends. Um, I actually don't accept friend requests from other Beachbody coaches if they're not in my downline. Um, so unless I'm like doing, if they're my success partners or I'm doing a group with them, um, but, or they're in a mastermind that I, I have with corporate, I do not accept friend requests. If they, somebody friend requests you, they, they will end up just following you. And so, um, so that's how I kind of work my business to keep my, um, cause if I accepted all the beach body friend requests I get, I'd be way over 2000. Um, so let's see what else. So ads. So what I, what I do with my ads and I recommend that all my new coaches do, do co uh, clean eating groups. And I recommend they put a little bit of money aside every month for a clean eating ad. 
So I feel that um, anybody can do that. If you sell a challenge pack, reinvest that commission, $40, which is the lowest commission you can get on a challenge pack, reinvest it in your business with a clean eating ad. It will pay itself back, I promise you. I get at least one person from my clean eating groups into my challenge groups every month. Two points. And because I've been running them so long, I have always somebody reaching out to me every month, probably for the last six months. I've had an old clean eater message me and say, I'm ready. Can I, I'm ready to do your challenge group. What's that thing, you know, that, that group you're doing? Cause they see my post cause they're friends on Facebook now. So, um, so I would say, um, invest just a little bit in a clean eating group every month. So I just do a post, a selfie of me this past month. It was me eating a raw onion. Um, it's just, selfies work so do selfies as much as possible when you're trying to advertise something and then I just say hey let's clean eat this month join me I start I started running an ad on Tuesday I have um, 74 people I added into it a few of them are friends already but I got I, I counted this morning 66 brand new contacts and they will be clean eating with me next week. And then the following week, my challenge group starts. I always start a challenge group after my clean eating group. I do a clean eating group every single month and have since the second month I was in the business. So, um, and then I send them a message at the end of the clean eating group and say, hey, would you like to step it up a notch and join my challenge group? And by the end of the clean eating group, they've gotten to know me because I do videos and I engage with them, and so they feel like they trust me, and that's what it's all about. They wanna trust somebody, and you're the person that can help them. And usually, I use um, some meal plans from T25, Hip Hop Abs. Um, I got these from another coach um, in TurboFire. They're the quick five day quick fix meal plan, and everybody always loses weight on them. So by the end of the clean eating, if they follow it, they feel awesome. And then they're, they want to keep continuing. So it pays to have some good content for your clean eating group too. So um, I also run challenge group ads and I also run sneak peek ads. And my sneak peek ads have taken a while um, to, I mean, it, you know, anything takes practice. These videos take practice. So I was really awkward doing videos in the beginning, and now I'm really, really comfortable. So when you are doing ads, just experiment. Experiment with the targets you set. Experiment with the, you know, the pictures, the text, the, how they connect with you. Are they dropping their email to you? Are they, are you putting a link right into the group? Are you doing an application? I do an application in my challenge group because they are, to me, the best way to get information from people. Before somebody joins my challenge group, I wanna know what their fitness level is, what their nutrition is like, um, whether they'll agree to drink Shakeology for 30 days. You can weed people out that way. Um, it sets expectations so they know that you're gonna want them to drink a shake. Um, and I also find out if they have any health issues. So a lot of women who are over 50 do have some health issues. So um, there's a, that's a really great way to screen people. And then you've got their information. I collect their email address. I connect, collect their cell phone because a lot of times the, the email goes into spam. So I always send them a text that says, hey, by the way, you know, check your spam. I just sent you a message. So those are just things I've learned through trial and error. So, um, so if you have extra money to run challenge group ads, I highly recommend it. Um, and then the sneak peek ads are really, really awesome. I get, I mean, I've had a hundred people join sneak peeks. Um, I don't sometimes get a lot of conversions, but the conversions I get are people that really connect with me. And I think one of the important things with a sneak peek is that you should do your own videos. Do your own sneak peek as soon as possible and do your own videos because I was using other people's videos and I wasn't getting people to sign up. And as soon as I started doing my own videos, people started connecting with me and people started signing up. So I usually get about three new coaches out of every sneak peek. So, um, and I, you know, it's funny cause I have one that's about to sign up and she's perfect. I mean, I look at her and I'm like, my gosh, you know, I couldn't ask for better. So it's really awesome when your ads start connecting with the people like you through targeting and through your, you know, videos and, and them getting to know you. And, uh, so 
I can't speak highly, like any more highly about how ads have just, you know, really, really grown my business. Um, and without them, I probably wouldn't still be a coach, honestly. <laughs> so, because I had zero warm market. So the other thing I wanted to say is that the warm um, market won't last forever. Um, if you have a lot of friends on Facebook, it'll last for a while, um, but they will eventually dry up. So you really need to be learning how to expand into your cold market if you're going to be successful for long term. So I would also suggest to watch videos. So there's a lot of YouTube videos from coaches. There's also training, ad training you can get. So I suggest, I did a boot camp and I learned a lot. Practical Social Media University has great webinars for, they have a boot camp and you can get like six months bundled with the, um, the university. And it's like, they have so many webinars on different platforms. They do um, boot camps specifically for Beachbody coaches and they teach you how to um, develop your target market. What is your target market? And how to develop your brand. What do you want your brand to be? So I highly recommend that. So right now I'm going to take you for a drive um, on my like page. So let me share my screen. So one thing I wanted to say is um, I'm not your average grandma. Um, and I do not like Beachbody coaches. Um, I don't know why it's not sharing. Let's see. Let's try that again. Um, I don't like Beachbody coaches being my fans, so don't don't like my page, okay? Um, so let's see. Oh, that's uh, different. Let me go over here. Okay, so that's my clean eating group. Let me go over to Firefox. So here is my like page. So I want you. Uh, what I like to tell people: your like page is an evolution. So what that means is that you're gonna change over time as a coach. So what I was as a coach two years ago is completely different than what I am as a coach right now. So my cover page just re recently changed. I'll show you what it was, but I had that cover page for since the entire time since I started my like page. So um, you, first of all, don't get hung up on a name. So not your average grandma was not my original like page name. My original like page name was just my name. And if you don't have a name yet, go with your, your, own, your own name. And um, the reason why I say that is because you can overthink things. You can stall out by just, you know, getting stuck on a stupid name. So, um, so just go with your name and then think of your name. And I found that my Not Your Average Grandma kind of came to me as I was doing P90X3, which was my soulmate program, and changed my life. So I started hashtagging Not Your Average Grandma to be funny. And one day, I just light bulb moment, I was like, oh, I'm, I sh that should be my like page. So I think, you know, just really, um, I hope that you're working out every day and you have a program find your soulmate program, commit to it, and then figure out, you know, like what you want your brand to be. So, so I just recently switched to this um, cover page and um, my old cover page was, I'll first of all, I'll show you a cover page. This is a cover page that I found to use an example in training. Never use a cover page with stock photos. And also you want to have your profile photo be a close up shot of you. Um, so this is not only is it stock photo and ticky tacky, but it's, it's, um, grainy and, and out of focus. So eh, this is awful. So don't do that. And if you're doing that, take it down immediately, like today before you do anything else. So this is the cover photo I had for months, you know, and I just changed it. But I think um, what this reflects is if you've been in any training, it's a, it's a compilation of, of kind of my life and who I am. So it has my, you know, that I exercise, it has the, my before and after, it has a picture of my grandchildren because I'm not your average grandma. And it has a couple of quotes that I like that resonated with me. So I think that, you know, that is, what you want to you know convey who are you because when people come to your page that's their first impression of you and you want a good first impression so back to my page so um so this is kind of how i changed it to i actually i just noticed this and i think that um 
the formatting has changed for some reason on Facebook because you could see my and put a twinkle on your wrinkle and, and now you can't. So I've got to adjust that and, and make it so you can see it. So anyways, um, I just want to give you just a little, so I do a combination of fitness and funny and grandma. And uh, so, you know, this I just posted this morning doesn't have a lot of reach right now, but um, I was dragging butt yesterday, try to let people know. I like to do funny things about um, my age. Um, this one didn't get a lot of engagement. Usually stuff like that gets a lot of engagement. So I think maybe I posted it at a bad time last night. I don't know. Um, for some reason, this middle of the day post got a lot, you know, engagement and uh, I was cooking my, my, my 3 p.m. snack. <laughs> Um, and so, uh, this, you know, took a picture of me in bed. And what I will say is I used to always do quotes on my like page. Uh, and my daughter, you know, who's my, my sponsor coach, she said, Hey mom, you need to like, stop doing, you need to selfies. You need to put more selfies out there. And so, and then after watching Bonnie and how well she does with, um, selfies, I just started doing more selfies. So, and I found Insta beauty. So it helps a lot. <laughs> so I do a lot of selfies. Um, so this is talking about, you know, kind of a little bit of freedom stuff about Beachbody and setting goals. And so I like to talk about that stuff. I love Ellen DeGeneres. So every Wednesday she does a super funny, um, tips and my, my, um, people like that. So, um, I started, I got this idea from Katie Ersta. She does, she, she was a teacher and she does quotes every couple of days she does. And she has a purple um, she has she has basically a style that she's come up with and when you see that you know It's Katie's and so I loved it So I came up with my own and I've since I've, I she did Nikki's team call and I saw her this on her page I decided I'm gonna start doing these so every couple of days. I do one of these with quotes I like so that's an idea, you know kind of brand something that when somebody sees a, 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 a Quote like this and use the same font um, they're going to know it's from me and I do have my logo there too. So, but these get a lot of engagement. Um, uh, this was a really, really funny video on, um, um, older ladies. And that I saw that actually in somebody's newsfeed that somebody that I was, um, one of my potential prospects. So you can find a lot of good content, um, in prospects, uh, newsfeed. So hopefully you're, checking those out. Here's my clean eating. Um, as you can see, I got tons of engagement. I got just a little organic, 250 organic, but I, you know, I was paying for it straight away. So I didn't even run it organically or, or without, sometimes you can, you can post something and see if you get reach and see if you get bites and then you can run it as an ad. So, um, but in this case, I just started from the get go. So organically it grew for 250. Um, and so, you know, I had a lot of people, um, had some, one person share, a lot of people commenting, they want to be in the group. Um, here's a video I did. I never, ever did a video before I was a coach. I took me, I, and I submitted a video to win a contest for P90X3. It took me a whole day to do a 30 second video because that was supposed to be 30 seconds. And, you know, what I have to say to that is you just need to figure it out and learn. Um, so, so anyways, this is basically, um, what you should do in terms of um, your like page. You need to, it's not all about fitness and food. It's about funny. It's about puppies. It's about scary clowns. Whatever you like or don't like or is about your personality that is unique to you is what you need to do um, because anybody can go to a person's page to learn about fitness and nutrition. They want to come to your page because they like your personality and you have something that they have and they like and resonates with them. So, okay. So I think that's enough. I think I've gone long enough, but that's my little lesson on like pages. Okay. Hope you liked it. I'll be doing another post later today about connecting. Okay. Bye.